This video is designed to help guide you through the screens of the MEARTR Revision 4.0 in order to set up and optimize your inverter charger. Other revisions may show slightly different screens, but this video should get you through the basics of programming. Please note that this video is not meant to go over every possible scenario, but rather give you an idea of how to program your system for your particular setup. Please refer to your owner's manual for more in-depth information. Starting at the main screen of your MEARTR, press Setup. 01 System Setup should be blinking. Press the round select knob to select this menu. The first screen that pops up is 01A System Clock. From here, we can set the clock on your ARTR. Press Select. The hour should now be blinking. Rotate the select knob to the appropriate hour of the day. Press select to save. Now the minutes are blinking. Rotate the select knob to the appropriate minutes of the day. Press select to save. Now we can adjust the time to reflect AM or PM. Rotate the knob accordingly and press select to save. Now we will set the date. This is in month, day, year format. Turn the knob to select your month. Press select to save. Turn the knob to set the day of the month. Press select to save. Finally, turn the knob to set the appropriate year. Press select to save. You have now set the clock inside the MEARTR. Turn the knob to 01B Screen Setup. From here, you can adjust the contrast and brightness of the LCD screen so that it is comfortable for you to read. Press Select and the contrast percentage will start blinking. Turn the knob to adjust the contrast. Press Select to save. Turn the knob to adjust brightness. Press Select to save. Turn the knob to 01C Power Save. This is a timer that you can adjust to dim the backlight and turn the LEDs off when a button hasn't been pushed on the ARTR for a while. By default, this is set to 15 minutes, which means after 15 minutes of inactivity, the backlight of the ARTR will dim and the LEDs on the side of the LCD will turn off. Your inverter will still be operating as normal this is just a way to conserve power. Press select to adjust the setting. When you see the number next to the arrow flashing, you can turn the select knob to adjust the setting. Press select to save. You can also adjust the flashing of the port LEDs. By default, the ports that are communicating will flash, indicating that they are indeed communicating. Every few seconds, you'll see the rest of the ports flash to indicate that the system is searching for any new devices to communicate with. You can turn these LEDs completely off by turning the select knob and changing the port LEDs option to off. Press select to save your setting. Turn the knob to 01D temp display. You can adjust this to display temperature to your preference of Celsius or Fahrenheit. Press select and turn the knob to your preference. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 01E viewing ports. This screen allows you to adjust the auto scroll on your main screen so that you can either have the screen scroll through each individual port automatically or you can keep it at the default of off in which case you would need to press the port button to manually scroll through each individual port. Press select to adjust this setting. Turn the knob to your preference. This is how long your main screen will stay on each screen before scrolling to the next port. Press select to save. Now that you have successfully entered in your system parameters, you can press and hold meter for three seconds to get back to the main screen.